We turn now to a New Jersey woman who keeps a beautiful garden. While checking it out in February, though, she took a fall that ended up saving her life. I fell and badly broke my foot and sort of hit my head, but that was not the major thing. Karen has a very interesting story. She quite literally tripped over this diagnosis. He fell and had a question of potentially hitting her head, prompting a CAT scan, and they find this area in the brain. So the fall in my backyard, uh, we believe, I believe, was certainly a blessing. The surgeon removed uh, the two centimeter tumor that was in my brain. The news came back that it was uh, stage four metastatic breast cancer, which was HER2 positive. And all my previous mammograms uh, had all been normal. So there was no uh, reason to think uh, that I uh, indeed had breast cancer. The treatment plan included CyberKnife, chemotherapy, and radiation. The CyberKnife is a way of delivering pinpoint radiation treatment in a way that is submillimeters accurate in terms of precision to perform what's called stereotactic radio surgery. They made a face mask so your head stays perfectly still. She's laying on the table. She has the mask in place to help keep her still so that she's not moving during the course of the treatment. This is a schematic here of all of the different planned beams as they come in and enter and all converge on this red circle in the back here, which would be our target. It was not a big deal at all, and no pain, no discomfort. Her imaging showed um, lymph nodes in her underarm area. The amazing thing of the story is that uh, with the uh, mammograms and breast MRIs and ultrasounds, uh, the doctors never found an originating tumor in the breast. So this is actually a slice here through Karen's MRI. This is her surgical cavity here. We're nicely sparing all of this normal tissue out here so that no part of the brain sees a significant dose of radiation other than the planned target area here. Compared to the alternative, which was whole brain radiation treatment, those patients lost their hair, had lots of fatigue, um, and can have problems with their memory and thought process in the months to years after treatment. In oncology in general, we are moving into a whole new era here in terms of uh, delivering treatments with less toxicity, less side effects, leaving patients able to live longer and healthier and, and more like their quote-unquote normal selves. We're hoping to see Karen years from now alive and well with no evidence of recurrent disease. A diagnosis of stage 4 breast cancer is very frightening and uh, whenever I would say that word to somebody the looks that would cross their faces would be oh you are you know not going to be around for very long. What's really wonderful that here I am today we recently uh, came back from Italy. My son is getting married in two weeks and we have very bright horizons and every reason to think that the cancer will stay in remission.